Hi, I'm Danielle from Finding Silver Pennies. Luke's videoing this for me right now. Um, I just wanted to share a video with you guys. I've never done this before, um, but I thought it might be helpful to show you how to strip furniture on a video. Um, I did do a tutorial using a stripper, but I thought if I showed you, it might be good. Um, we're gonna use citrus strip, and we don't have to strip to paint over with chalk paint or milk paint if you put bonding agent, but there's so many layers of paint on this that the drawers aren't sliding, and I just want it to have a smoother finish. So um, <clears throat> we'll get started. You wanna shake up the citrus strip, and this is, um, it's a pretty safe stripper, um, and you don't really have to do it outside. I'm doing it in our sunroom right now, and I just put some paper down to protect the rug, but really I don't care about this rug anyway. Um, now you want to, if I can get it open. Okay. So you'll see it's or very orangey, and it's like a gel. So you just kind of glue it on, and then take a chip brush. I'm gonna put even more on, um, on this side. And you just wanna spread it all around because this is gonna lift the paint. Oops. You wanna just make sure you have enough everywhere. And some people, I've done this, put um, saran wrap on top to kind of keep it airtight and have it work. But sometimes it can dry out and the saran wrap can get stuck. So we're gonna just try it this way for right now. And we might have to do a couple, couple layers. So, you just wanna get it everywhere. And we're gonna strip the whole, everything. We're gonna, I might not show you all of it, but we're gonna strip all of it. Um, so we're gonna let this sit probably like half hour, and then um, we'll see, you'll, you'll see the paint kind of lifting and crackling, and you'll know it's ready. And at that point, you're gonna take a scraper, and any kind of metal tin, I like to use our espresso, or um, you can use the drip trays for the Weber. I steal Luke's, so um, you can do that as well. Um, in, in between, I'm gonna do, put this in a plastic bag. As you can see, John is calling me and the dog's scratching on the door, so <laughs> it's a real house and we're doing this in the sunroom. Okay, so I'll be back in a half hour to see how it's going. Okay, so we've waited about 30 minutes and you can see that the, the Stripper is lifting the paint. See those kind of crackles? It would be great if it was everywhere, but I think I'm gonna have to put more on. Uh, if you're working with um, a stained piece, you'll see that the stripper will start to turn kind of a brownish color. But for paint, this is how, how it goes. You wanna take your scraper and you wanna just scrape along. You can see it just kind of lifts it up. And it's a great color underneath. <laughs> Um, and you just want to keep going and it's a little bit messy um, and if you can try to get it in your can that you have and you just want to push along and we're gonna have to do another another coat of the stripper after you want to clean it up with mineral spirits using wire wool but very fine wire wool um, and then you're ready. You could stain it or you could paint it. And like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to strip if you're using those two paints I mentioned earlier, but we just have so much paint on this that I thought it would be a good piece to show you guys how to do this on. All right, I hope that's helpful.